got a whole box of goodies of things that I had been buying, makeup, um, and new things that a couple of them I tried because I was just a little too excited. A lot of them I have not, and today I'm doing my whole face, this face right here with products from the box and seeing what I like and what I don't like. So grab your, I always think it's so funny when people do this, but grab your snacks and your tea and whatever you drink in and let go. Okay, so this was the um, first thing out of my little box of goodies from Wish. It's like a lip plumper. Basically, you could use a shot glass too for this, but you can see it. Can you see it? Mm. Yeah, I think I got fairly thin marks, so. <laughs> you just put your lips in there and you suck out the oil. And you look like a baby sucking on a pacifier. And the more you do it, the more that they will plump up and then you can do your lips and they'll hang out for a bit. So, let's see. Okay, that guy just popped off. Oof. And that just, <laughs> this literally, I don't even know if I caught it on camera, but I tried to pump it out and it flew across the way. I don't think this is a good one, <laughs> but okay, we've been using it. If I'm working, I like it. I really like to use, this is the Dr. Brand's Pores No More Age Mattifying Lotion. And um, I feel like it makes a difference with my makeup, especially like I got like these weird fine lines and dry skin around my lips that I need to fill with primer. So, yeah. So, now that our face is all primed, I'm going to go in with the NYX Total Control Foundation. This came out of the box. Um, Let's see if the shade matches. I have another one where I can make it lighter, but mm, we'll see. This is TCDF15 Caramel. I heard this foundation was amazing and I've had it for a minute and have not tried it. Pretty much have not tried any of this stuff except for, you know, my basics, my primers and stuff. So shake it up. <laughs> Inside joke. Go. 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 Oh my god, it's a good match. Oh my god, it's like perfect. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. I also haven't played with this beauty blender in quite a while. The purple one. It's so new when I washed it prior to this video. Squirted out purple juice. Okay, next up I've got the Physician's Formula Touch of Blur Concealer that is super cute and it's got this little foam on it. I have not tried it. Oh, it's got one of these things on it. A little puff ball that we love so much. Alright, what color is this? This is light to medium blur. Not a great blur, you know, you don't want to look too blurry, apparently. It's 
see if gravity will help it some. God, we're gonna be here all day. Uh, wait, wait, I think I see a little brown. Oh, 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 that has salmon, um, a salmon tone. Huh, interesting. Okay. I'm gonna work with that, I guess. Triangle here. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Okay, clearly this is like more of a cover up concealer rather than brightening concealer like this thing right here these things so instead just gonna go with the flow I'll see how this blends out Beat yourself in the face till that shit looks real great. Oh, ooh yeah! So I found a lip exfoliator in Sweet Cherry from Elf. Get it out the box. Pretty sure I have a bunch of these, but that's okay. We can have another one. I haven't tried it in a while. Hopefully, this one's not dried out. Let's see. I love e.l.f. but sometimes their products can be very uh, deceiving and I feel like when I buy products from the store they're okay but when I buy products online which I like to do my bulk orders online um, because of shipping purposes right you know um, I find that a lot of the products are like old or some of the ingredients have probably gone bad, so it doesn't work the way that it would work if I had purchased it from the drugstore. Hang on. I think this might be one of those. So it feels like it's melted. It shouldn't feel like that. Let's see. Literally feels like I just put glue on my lips. Okay, so I'm back. Um, yeah, less gluey now that I cleaned it up. Um, the next item I have is the Creamy Contour Stick from Jordana Sculpt and Glow. Um, this one's in deep. So um, I haven't tried a lot from Jordana except for the what was it? oh the the lip liners, which a lot of people on YouTube raved about. I think it was. Emily Noel that told uh, told me, yeah, she told me to go buy it. Um, <laughs> she convinced me to go try it. And um, yeah, it's not brown girl friendly. It didn't show up on my skin tone at all. Luckily I got it from Rite Aid and I could return it and it wasn't a big deal, but it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth for the brand. Um, let me know in the comments if anybody else ever feels like that, like they try one thing from a new brand um, an indie makeup brand and then they're like, eh, I don't like it, or you got a bad one or a bad batch or something and they're just like, I'm done, I don't know, I don't care. I'm... Let's go into the blender. Push up, push up, push up, push up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I blended out my contour, I put it on a little thick so, because I'm trying it out. I want to see it. Oh, it looks good. Mm -hmm. um, and then I threw some Kali Airspun, and you know, the big explosion happened. It's all good. It's all good. 
Um, this is a the Jordana Go and Go Creamy Strobing Stick in two radiant glow highlights in under 30 seconds. So yeah, oh, it's so pretty. It's got like these swirls in it. So here, let me. Oh. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I kind of like put it everywhere. <laughs> mm, it's so golden. It's so, it's so me. It's like me and highlighter. Ooh, I like it. I like it. It's creamy. Let's see. How does it blend out? Like if I just lightly blend it. Put it on my face. I don't know. You can't even see it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Boom! In your face. All right, let's put some on. Down here on the chin. Ooh, yeah, you could already see it. Oh, this is going to be my favorite. Ooh. I like it. Honestly, I don't think I've met a highlighter that I didn't like. Because highlight is like my probably my favorite makeup product outside of eyeshadow, of course. Eyeshadow and highlight. Next, I found is this. I forgot that I had bought this. I've been eyeing this for quite a while from Amazon. Um, the NYX Professional Makeup Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. I'm probably going to go crazy with the eyes, so I kind of want to just pick like this light beige color just to give myself a, a color. It's funny because I have this number 24 Sonia Kashuk brush. Um, that is a blush brush. It looks like this. Um, but I find it doesn't pick up the product and disperse it very well for me. Um, yeah, so I don't like this brush for blush, but I do like the elf one. There's the highlighting brush and the blush brush that pretty much, they pretty much look the same. Um, this is the old one, the elf blush brush. It doesn't even have a label and this is the highlighting brush. It's just a little bit bigger. I use them interchangeably, but I love I love this brush because watch how quickly it does this, it does the job. Shimmer, shimmer, and then satin. And that's the satin one I'm going for. Let's see how it looks in here. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Okay. See how quickly the elf brush does that? Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to do the same thing. I've got product on this one. And now you're going to see the difference. It makes it more soft, I guess, and diffuse, which is great, you know, if that's what you want and you want to kind of like build it up. You can see the difference. You can see the, um, color come through more on the elf side. So I like this brush more for, you know, trying to even out powder application, things like that. Applying the actual product, I like this little concentrated brush. I'm going to go in with that again. Right here. I can see rings, my circle of vision. And your YouTuber, I see is the diva light, the diva light, the circle ring, your vision all the time. Look, Jesus. Nope, it's not Jesus coming. It's just my diva light left in my vision. 